So we have a relationship with the Sesame Workshop and it's been our intention to build another Sesame Place theme park. You know, we have one outside of Philadelphia in Langhorne. So this is the second Sesame Place and we thought this was the, the ideal site to do that. And we've been able to really transform what was Aquatica into a full theme park, an interactive experience where you have the water rides. You've seen that we have all of the dry rides kind of interspersed between um, the wet rides. And so we've got that nice combination. We've got you know, water slides and then a carousel and a roller coaster and a really good variety. But what we also have is a really great parade. Um, it's a lot of high energy. Um, all the characters are in it, music, it's really, really good. And we have a stage show also. We built a, a 770 seat theater a stage show with a lot of your favorite characters there. So, and it's, it's an original show debuted here, really great to have. And then the interactive neighborhood is really unique. It's like walking into Sesame Street. And if, if you're like me, I grew up on Sesame Street and I remember the first day I walked in here um, and it's just like the emotions of your childhood come back because it's so much, so, so much of a reminder of that time. I think it's, it's great for the Chula Vista community, it's great for the city of San Diego, but I also believe it's going to be a destination for domestic and international tourism as well. So really everyone, um, great for families, but you know if you think about it too, the teens that used to come enjoy the water park, it's all still here as well, so they can come and enjoy that too. One that this is the right experience for families with children of all ages. It's just a, a product that they really, really love. And so it was important that for us to, to kind of continue on that brand. And then we're a certified autism center too. And um, the park in Langhorn was the first one in the United States to ever become a certified autism center. So we're really proud to be following in their footsteps. And what that means is as a parent, when you bring your child here, there's a lot of ways that we will help you have your child um, be able to experience this park to the best of their ability. So we, we've trained all of our ambassadors. They all have gone through training. All the leadership has gone through extensive training to really be able to help out. Um, all of the attractions you'll notice have a sensory guide and it will help the parents understand what that attraction will mean for their child and to determine whether or not it's the right experience for them or not. Um, we have a special parade viewing area for children with autism, so they're not right in the middle of the main audience, but they still have a great view of the parade and they can interact with the characters. And then we have these quiet rooms. So to get away from the busyness of the day, you can go into a quiet room. There's beanbag chairs, comfortable chairs, there's games to play, there's headphones, and you can go there, have a decompression moment, and then get back out and have fun again in the park afterwards. Yeah, as we open Sesame Place here, we're continuing to evaluate Sesame Street IP in RC World Park, and we'll make a decision as we move forward which way we want to go with that. <laughs> we do. Hi. How's it going, Grover? You doing well? Yes. Hi, Grover. Are you excited for the park? Thank you, Grover. We'll see you later. <laughs>